Hey y'all, hey. Hello, hi, hi, hello. Um, so I did the five tips for future authors video, and now we're gonna get into this accounting. Now we're gonna get into this money. Okay, we're gonna get into five tips for my businesses, no matter what size, small, medium, large, extra large, however you name it and claim it, this applies to you. Okay, to all of you. Um, so five tips, five basic accounting tips, financial tips, again, like being an author, like publishing, it's so much that goes into it and so much detail. So if you want me to expand on something specific or something that I say, please let me know in the comments. Um, but these are five basic tips. Okay. Number one, the most important tip get a bookkeeper get an accountant okay please please and by bookkeeper i mean me <laughs> if it's financial solutions know what it is um i've been doing freelance accounting for yeah what year we in bro about seven years now um, yeah, about seven years now for small size, medium size, large size businesses. I've been in the game seven years. So it was Evans Bookkeeping, Evans Financial Solutions, all that. It's all LLC, all, all marked up. But I do accounting for businesses. I do taxes for businesses. I have about roughly 10 to 15 clients that I do accounting for. But that number going to go up, you feel me? Um, so please get you a bookkeeper. And when you get a bookkeeper, get a bookkeeper that know what they're doing. Like, of course, I'm I'm the best, but in the event that you don't choose me, please get a bookkeeper that know what they're doing. Do do your research. I need to know your background, I need to know your experience, even if you have to ask for references. Like, I know any of my clients will definitely tell you she's phenomenal. And if I need to send a reference, I will. Most times people see my work, so there's no need for a reference, and y'all know me. Y'all seen enough of my life <laughs> to know me. But, and it's, what time is it? 11.24, and I'm up recording this because I'm currently doing bookkeeping, was doing bookkeeping an hour ago, but I'm going to go to bed soon because I the work don't stop, and it's tax season. So, important, number one, on top of everything, Get you a bookkeeper. I don't care if you got a small business because the problem where we mess up at small businesses, I'm sorry, but especially black, <laughs> I got to call my people out, is we either try to do it ourselves or try to find somebody we know to do it. So like an aunt, cousin, mama, daddy, sister, brother. Like we try to find somebody we know that's not quite an accountant but can manage the books. And again, we try to do it ourselves. So I learned the hard way, you cannot do everything. If you have a bookkeeper, an actual accountant, I promise you your life will be a whole lot easier. You have to make that investment. I know it's expensive sometimes, but for me, I know I have reasonable rates, but you have to make that investment. You got to spend money to make money. Like you have to spend money to make money. So even if your company is at a loss, because not all my clients are having profit. Some of my clients are literally just starting, but they... For one, know that they can't handle the financials, like don't know what they're doing. And for two, it's just a level of comfort to know that somebody professional is doing it. You're going to have your statements every month, your financial statements. You know how much you're making, you know how much you're losing and all that. It, it literally takes the heaviest burden off you. So get you a bookkeeper. Number two, track your income and expenses. Okay, get first of all, please, 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 please get a separate bank account. Okay, <laughs> I help people set up businesses as well. So you set up your LLC, get your EIN number, even if you do a DBA, get a business account. Please get a business checking account. Do not mix your personal money with your business money. You are asking for tax issues. You're asking for financial issues. Do not do that. 
<laughs> please don't do that. So when you get your business bank account, you want to track your income and your expenses. If you're just dead set on doing it yourself, then please make sure you are tracking the money that's coming in and the money that's going out on something separate. Whether it's the Excel spreadsheet, whether you do it on paper, I don't care how you do it. Like for me, I'm going to show you how old school I am. Now, I do my accounting online too, right? But because I am old school and I still like pen and paper, baby, <laughs> I, I have a general ledger book. So I do both because you never know. You need a backup. You never know when something's going to crash. So, and I got a hard drive and everything, but I'm a paper person. I use Excel. I use accounting software. I, all that. So properly track your income and expenses. I don't care if you got to write it down. I don't care if you got to, however you got to do it, put it in a Word document, put it in your phone, whatever works for you, but you have got to track that income and expenses. If you're not going to get a bookkeeper, make sure you at least keep up with that part. Going into number three, know your profit and loss. In order to know your profit and loss, you have to track your income and expenses. What is profit? What is net profit? Let me say that. Net profit is your gross profit, so that's your revenue, minus your expenses. So you take all of your profit, and you can include cost of goods sold. It's really supposed to be gross profit or revenue minus cost of goods sold, and then that's your gross profit. But again, I can go into accounting all day. I nerd talk. But you want to take basically your revenue minus your expenses is either your profit or your loss. You want to know that. When you have a bookkeeper, like me, every month I send my clients their financial statements. I go through their bank statements, I classify each thing, and they can literally have their income statement and their balance sheet. And their income statement tells them, okay, this is your revenue based on each service or product, and this, these are your expenses based on whether it's advertising, whether it's fees, whether it's supplies, all that. So you have your revenue at the top, expenses at the bottom, and then your profit at the uh, profit below the expenses, or your loss, depending on which one you have. So you always want to know your profit or loss because that is what you're going to need when it comes to tax time for one. And who doesn't want to know what their business is making or losing? Because that also goes into budgeting. When you look at that statement, if you have a loss, okay, what can I spend less money on? Like what? can I change or what can I take away? Stuff like that. That's not essential. Like marketing or accounting. Like those are essential things. Supplies. Essential. So, and especially the meals. That's a whole video in itself. <laughs> Y'all in the meals? Because my clients know I don't play them games. <laughs> if I tell them, hey, you out of budget, you just spending too much on this, we not doing that. They will listen because they know I know what's best. I have their best interests at heart. I love my clients, y'all. They're so wonderful. But, um, and while I'm saying that, shout out to Sheridan. Shout out to Terry. Shout out to Teha. Shout out to Leanna. I can go all day. But then my baby's right there. So, um, know your profit or loss. When you can see your profit or loss every month, just to see it on paper just makes you feel good. Like it makes you feel organized. Like, oh my God, I made $5,000 this month. Like you'd be amazed. Like some people, when I do their income statement, they be like, I didn't even know I was making this. Like, I didn't even know this is what I made in September. No, you probably for the loss. And going into that, step number four, file your taxes. Please file your taxes. <laughs> like, please file your taxes. I used to do personal taxes back in the day. Uh-uh. Don't do it no more. Because people and their personal taxes with these dependents and these credits and these, it's, it's too much. It became too much on me. I don't do personal taxes no more, but I do do business tax returns. If you have a sole proprietorship, LLC, corporation, S Corp, C Corp, I do all of the business tax returns with all my, usually with my clients, uh, most of them have LLCs. I do their tax returns. And also on the tax side, when you do file your taxes, because let's say for SP, which is a sole proprietorship, and an LLC, those are filed with your personal tax return on what's called a Schedule C form. 
So on that Schedule C, it's going to ask you what your income was. And then there's going to be breakdowns of each category. So supplies, rent, uh, assets, car, mileage, meals, all that. If you have an income statement for the year, and you can see each one of those categories and have the number, all you got to do is take that one sheet of paper and put it into your tax return. Whether I do your taxes or somebody else do your taxes. Again, whole nother video. I can go into the tax thing, but another video. Um, Because I be throwing shade low key. <laughs> I'm sorry. An accountant and a tax payer and a tax preparer are two totally different things. Let me tell y'all, because... Uh, I'm an accountant, not a tax preparer. They are two different things. I got two degrees to prove it up there because they're expensive. But, um, <laughs> I can't never be serious. But please file your taxes. I can't tell y'all how many people that came to me, business owners, then came to me, ain't filed their taxes in like five years, and I got to file their taxes because they haven't filed their taxes. And now the IRS is, excuse me, hi, hello, you owe the government money. Run me that. You got to let in the IRS because you ain't file your taxes. Because people who take Square, PayPal, all these online electronic payment systems, if you make over $20,000 or process more than 250 transactions, and this is a tip I'm giving y'all. I'm giving y'all free game right now. I ain't going to charge you for this. If you make over $20,000 or process more than 250 transactions on any of these platforms, you're going to get what's called a 1099K. That 1099K has on there how much money you received each month from this platform and your total for the year. That 1099K then gets sent to the IRS. So that means the IRS is going to look on your tax return. And if they don't see that, then you go, excuse me, hello, hi. Um, we have some 1099Ks that you made money from PayPal. Um, you made like $100,000 or, you know, even twenty five, and it's not on your tax return. I'm not understanding. Or we don't have a tax return for you at all. File your taxes. <laughs> file your taxes and file them correctly. Again, I file business tax returns. You don't have to be a client for me to file your business tax return, but I would prefer you to. Now, what happens when you do not have proper accounting or financial statements? When it comes time to file your taxes, and I was just on Facebook talking about this. If you pull out a box of receipts, I'm charging you more. <laughs> anybody anybody is going to charge you more because now what I have to do is call rush accounting that means I'm going to have to take all of your bank statements and I'm going to have to go through recognize revenue recognize expenses we're going to go through each transaction bundle them up and then do what takes a year in a month and that that costs money that, that costs coins and you're going to have to pull receipts and all this and find all that and just get you an accountant. You won't have them issues because all you need is that one piece of paper. You just need that income statement. So, again, number one is the most important. But file your taxes, people. I know y'all have seen people go to jail for tax evasion. Okay, I'm just letting y'all know. Don't be one of them people. Lastly, budget. I do budgeting. Now, I, I do personal budgeting and I do business budgeting. Usually with my clients, I do personal and business because since they're entrepreneurs, their, um, their, their personal income comes from their business. So I have to do personal and business in order for it to come together. So, and I get on my friends and everybody all the time about their personal budget. I am very strict about my budget. I track my budget. I take it seriously on the personal side and on the business side. But we're talking about businesses right now. So make sure you have a business budget because you want to put a certain amount in each category. And then you want to track that and make sure. So like if you set $5,000 a year for advertising, you want to make sure you're not going over that $5,000. Okay, especially 
for my nonprofits out there. And if, if y'all want me to, I'll make a video for nonprofits separately or if Sheridan tell me to because she my marketing manager and she pretty she tell me what to do and I listen. Um <laughs> so for nonprofits out there, you especially need a budget. You have to have a budget. If you apply for most grants, they're gonna require you to have a budget. You have to. There's no way around it. You have to budget your money. But for businesses, budget your money. Even if you don't know how much you're going to make for the year, make an assumption. Base it off prior years. Base it off a goal you want to reach. Like, base it off of what's reasonable in your market. And have that as your revenue, your income, and then budget your expenses. Okay, I'm going to spend this much on advertising. Here are my accounting fees. Here is my legal fees, my supplies, yada, yada, yada. So that way you can keep control of your budget. You can keep control of your money. You know when you're going over budget. When you see that you're going over budget, it's like, hold on now. I got to spend less money on this because I'm going out of my budget now, living beyond my means. So those are the five tips. One, get you a, get you a bookkeeper or bookkeeper, accountant, same thing. Well, I take that back. Accountants have more experience and actually require degrees and bookkeepers are it don't matter <laughs> that's irrelevant get you a bookkeeper or an accountant um that's number one number two track your income and expenses on something other than your bank statement when i say track them that don't mean look at your i'm about to pick this up oh well this is piece of paper that don't mean look at your uh bank statement like okay that's deposit deposit all right and then i spent that much on that so whatever my bank balance is, that's my net profit. No, you need to track it on another, a completely different paper. Excel, by hand, Word, Google Notes, whatever. Just keep it separate. Like write it out, track it. Number three, know your profit or loss. That is very important monthly and yearly. At the end of the year, you want to know that. Again, that's going to help you file your taxes easier. That's going to be easier on the tax repair or the accountant at the end of the year. And again, it's a relief to you to know how much you made or lost. For the year, for each month, you want to know that information. You want to be able to say, I know how much my business made last month. If I ask you right now to my entrepreneurs, how much did you make in December 2021? Can you answer that question? If I say, how much did you make or what was your loss in 2020, in December 2021, can you answer that question? I mean, dollar amount. I don't want no estimation. I want the dollar amount. Exactly. When you have an accountant, if my client come to me right now first, they already had a financial statement so they can see it themselves. But if I pull up any one of my client accounts right now, I can tell you exactly how much they made in December 2021 and before that. For the whole year, months before all of that. So, know your profit and loss. Number four, file your taxes. Pay Uncle Sam. Pay the government their money. I don't want to see y'all locked up. <laughs> like, I don't want to see y'all locked up. And another cool thing about me, another cool tip, shout out to Dr. Perkins at TSU University when I was getting my master's degree because he, and I thought it was ridiculous back then. I was like, I can't believe he making us do that. But he taught us how to do tax returns by hand. He actually made us hand write a tax return, like pencil and paper. So thanks to him, I know how to do a paper return by hand. Because when you have to go and file for 2014, 2015, 2016, that online software not there no more. It only go back so far. So you need somebody like me who can actually do your return by paper. I've literally done those. I've literally done tax returns on paper and mailed them in. So another fun tip about me, I'm the shit out here. Girl, you better go ahead. But file your taxes. And then number five, budget. Budget, budget, budget. Budget in your personal life and also budget for your business. I promise you it's gonna make things a lot easier when you know, okay, it's, it's accountability. This is what I'm spending. I'm not going over this. I'm set to it. And if you have me as a bookkeeper or accountant, I'm going to say, hey, you went over budget. Why? <laughs> like, why? 
That ain't what we said. That ain't what we sent in the beginning of the year. So keep you a budget. Okay. Those are my five accounting tips for businesses, entrepreneurs, all of that. And this goes for any type of income you bringing in, whether you are um, a YouTuber, a musician, an artist, um, a, a beauty salon owner, an esthetician, a restaurant owner. This is entrepreneurship and businesses as a whole. Because if you get one of them 1099 statements, this is for independent contractors who get 1099s, Uber drivers, Lyft. Y'all know y'all get 1099s, right? Which means you're an independent contractor, which means you're going to have to file a Schedule C. All right. Just letting y'all know. But again, I can go deep into it. I will probably do a video on taxes because I know people probably got a lot of questions about those, especially now because it's tax season. So, again, if you have any questions specifically you want me to touch on, let me know. My information is at the bottom. If you want to book a consultation, if you want to visit my website, follow me on social media at Evans Bookkeeping and Evans Financials on Facebook. Until next time, I love y'all and much success to my entrepreneurs and my businesses out there. Bye.